All right, welcome back to my eyes. Last time we saw Jay Matthews get kicked out of the Judgment Day and then have an ambulance match against Rhea Ripley. So let's see what Rhea was going to say. <laughs> Are you regretting letting me have free reign over my career yet? You and Miss Ripley were formidable together, but I don't scare quite that easily. After all, I embraced brass knuckles before either of you were born. That may be the case, but I should still apologize for all that. No need to apologize. I just hope you managed to work some things out and found some of what you were looking for and the strength to continue the journey. Wise words for Regal. All right, so before we get into one of those stories, let's see what Foley has to say. Bang, bang. Ah, geez, Mick, what are you doing here? If there is anyone who understands the journey you're on, it's good old Mick and all his faces. I'm like your fairy godfather. My fairy godfather? You got that right. I've done everything there is to do in WWE. Dude Love was a superstar. Mankind was a monster. And Cactus Jack was the most brutal man walking this green earth. Believe me, I know. You're one of my heroes. Is Mick Foley Cactus Jack right now? Great. I'm here to trip the light fantastic down memory lane and give you the opportunity to try something unique via Mick's special pixie dust. If you're game, that is. Sound exciting? So it sounds interesting. Definitely pops me. Just like you popped your little buddy Psycho Sally in the face, man, that was brutality. I actually feel kind of bad about that. That's what separates the brutal from the boring, Cap. The only feeling Cactus ever had was wanting to taste his own blood pouring down his own face. We're a little more PG nowadays, so... When Cactus went out there and had a street fight with Triple H, there was no guilt, no fear, nothing but the cold, dead eyes of the man from Truth or Consequences. Damn, yeah, that was good, great. Now that you brought the brutality, you think you have that kind of fight in you? To take on Triple H? You leave Triple H to Jack. He's mine. But if you deigned to let me stand by your side back then, I'd sure want you taking care of his partner in crime, even if she's also authority. Would you be down to bring brutality to anyone? You know what? It was already done before. So let's do it again. You saw what I did to everyone in my path. I have the brutality to grind anyone down. Then I've got just the match for you. Hold on to your hat, because if you think you know brutality, just you wait. Bang, bang. Take it to the streets.
Bud, we're at the old Monday Night Raw. I'm Jade Matthews. She's looking to bring the brutality. Stephanie McMahon. This seems like fashion in our imagination. against one of the biggest villains in WWE history from a family of villains that make Genghis Khan look like Mother Teresa. You know what to do. Hold no punches. Bar no holes. And if you want to do like old Cactus Jack would do, make good use of every tool at your disposal. Bye bang. That is Chuck from the Garbage Can. Take your dad. Imagine there are no rules in your imagination. Reverse and we don't play.
looks like that's it. So that's going to be it for this episode. Next time we'll see what one of them has to say, where that story goes. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say.